Hi guys doing? This is <coughs> my Terrafuls of Blondie and Steel Maze environment enclosures. From the top to the bottom, three Terrafuls of Blondie males, three females, and two Steel Maze female and one possible male. I'm just hoping it's male. Nothing special with these enclosures. At the, at the front you can see air holes and at the top as well this one gives a good ventilation system because these species they really like the humid environment humid environment I mean 70-80% humidity this one is 70% these ones as well 70% okay So back to the enclosure, the background is compressed cork pieces, it gives a really nice naturalistic look. The decoration is uh, cork bark and some moss. This one is coconut fiber and a bit of vermiculite to keep the humidity. The temperature is between 20 to 23 degrees Celsius. They don't need more. This is about 30, 32 degrees. These are really, really not true. Just imagine at the rainforest where there is about 28, 30 degrees, but these tarantulas, they, 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 they live deep underground in a hide where the temperature is something like 20 to 23 degrees. That's why uh, loads of people uh, just simply boiled their teas so I would say 20 to 23 degrees should be absolutely fine I think the more more I think it's more important to keep the humidity high and because of this ventilation system I really hope that the mold is not going to develop in the enclosures to keep the humidity, I just bought recently this uh, misting system. It's the same like the Exoterra rainforest system, but it's much cheaper, of course, and it does the same job. I'm going to show you just quickly uh, from this angle. Yeah, it's perfect. It does the job. <laughs> I don't want to make a damp, but I really, really want to give the best environment for these teas as much as I can. Obviously, my goal is to breed these species, and I think the first step is to, to give them the best environment, what we can. In our case is uh, good temperature, good humidity and enough food, a big water dish that's essential and basically that's it. The light is it's just a normal LED light, I'm not using all the time just for for display this is a remote control I control the light and the raining system as well it's easier for me it's automatic now with the T's these top three Terrafosa blondie males. Let's see. That's one. I didn't give them name. I will. 
that's the second one. This is the third one. These are confirmed males. Check the females. That's one female. Another one. And another one. This one is a Turfos Stirmy. You can see the white stripes at the end of the legs. It's really easy to identify. That's a Sturmy. And that's a Blondie. Blondies hasn't got white stripes. So that's a possible female. That one is at the back. It's a possible male, I really hope. This one, it's a confirmed female. I haven't fed the blondies since I bought them, so definitely today is going to be the day when I'm going to give them some quickets. So, thanks for watching, guys. See you.